Tottenham in advanced negotiations for a multi-million pound deal that could be finalized in a few weeks. A significant change is unfolding behind the scenes, with new minority shareholders ready to bring a major investment to the club, something that could transform Spurs' trophy ambitions. Check out all the details about this potential new partnership. But before we begin, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so that YouTube continues delivering the latest Spurs news we publish here. Tottenham Hotspur is about to take a significant step that could profoundly impact the future of the club. A new investment, which could be finalized by the end of 2024, promises to open the door to a new era in terms of ambitions and achievements. If this deal goes through, the London team will be able to count on financial backing that will place the club in a much stronger position to compete for titles and trophies. Currently, Enic, the company owned by Joe Lewis's family fund, holds 86.58% of Tottenham's shares. However, the prospect of new minority shareholders at the club seems to be becoming a reality as Lewis is looking to reduce his influence. According to The Mirror, former Newcastle United director Amanda Staveley, along with her husband Merdad Gadusi, is in advanced talks to acquire a significant portion of Lewis's shares. Sources close to the club indicate that Amanda is serious about getting involved with Spurs and that the initial deal could be completed in a few weeks. Staveley has experience in the English football scene having played a key role in the acquisition of Newcastle United by the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia in October 2021 in a deal worth £305 million. Since then, she and Godusi held a 10% stake in the Northeast Club before selling their remaining shares in July 2024. Despite her exit from Newcastle, Amanda has always made clear her interest in continuing to invest in English football. My preference would have been to stay at Newcastle, but life doesn't always work out exactly as you want, she told The Athletic. Now, her new focus seems to be Tottenham, a club that, with the right financial backing, has the potential to establish itself among the Premier League's top title contenders. The possible arrival of Amanda Staveley as a minority shareholder could bring not only an influx of capital, but also a new approach to propelling the club forward. The expectation is that investments from the Middle East will be channeled into strengthening the squad and increasing Tottenham's chances of returning to the top of English football. For fans, this move could represent the long-awaited change of direction, with clear ambitions to win trophies that have eluded the club in recent decades. Since their League Cup victory in 2008 against Chelsea, Spurs have undergone various restructuring phases and changes in the squad, but without achieving significant success on the pitch. This new deal won't come cheap, however. The 2024 Deloitte report values Tottenham as the eighth most valuable club in the world, with an estimated worth of £2.6 billion. For Amanda Staveley and her partners, this means that the investment required for a significant stake will be considerably higher than the £305 million used to acquire Newcastle. If the deal is concluded, it is possible that some new faces will appear at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium as early as the second half of the 2024-25 season. Staveley's arrival could represent an immediate boost for Ange Postacoglo's side with the necessary funding to attract high-caliber players and strengthen key areas of the squad. Now we want to hear from you, Spurs fans. How do you see the potential arrival of Amanda Staveley as a minority shareholder at Tottenham? Do you think this new investment could finally enable the club to compete regularly for titles? Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you liked the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel so that YouTube continues to deliver the latest Tottenham news we publish here exclusively. See you next time. Come on, you Spurs.